Are you curious about the tram experience in Croydon Roblox? Join me as we embark on this virtual adventure and uncover if it's truly worth the points. I'll be taking a closer look at the tram system, its routes, and the overall experience it offers to players. So buckle up and get ready to embark on this thrilling journey with me as we answer the burning question, is it worth getting a tram in Croydon Roblox? First off, let's have a look at a few of the stations on the network. In Croydon Roblox, the stations are from Addiscombe or Lloyds Park to Mitchum Common. It serves in big terminals such as West Croydon, East Croydon, with a depot at Therapy Lane. In between, it serves Sandylands, Leban Road, Wesley Road, Church Street, George Street, Central, Ruskin Road, Wooden Marsh. Ampere Way and Beddington Lane. These stations are done to a good standard, but not that detailed, with the exception of East and West Croydon, where the developing is done pretty well. There is also no road access to Mitchum Common at the end of the route. I give the stations a fairly good rating of 5 out of 10. Now let's have a look at the running stock. We're going to have a look at the Vario Band Tram. Specifically, let's start with its exterior. The exterior of this tram is smooth, nice and streamlined. It has a very nice Croydon tram green along with the complementing white and black. The blue at the bottom also works really well with the rest of the tram. The drawers also look really nice and they open very well. The exterior is pretty good so they deserve a score of 8 out of 10. That's now a total score of 13 out of 20. On to the interior of the tram looking at the seats and other features. The interior of this tram does look pretty good. I like the seat maquette, it looks just like it does in real life. The green colour scheme still works on the inside of the tram, including the green poles and green displays. There's not much to say about the interior, so I'll give it a good score of 9 out of 10. Now it's pretty hard to drive this tram, so let's have a look what it looks like inside of the driver's cab. As shown in the montage, it's sometimes hard to control the tram, as well as the blinkers not working well with the keybinds. The passengers won't work so well either, but on the positive side, you do get 20 points if you leave the stop on time. That deserves a 7 out of 10. That's now a total score of 29 out of 40. So, is it worth it to buy a tram? Well, I would say yes. It's an enjoyable experience, and it looks cool to be driving it around. That is the end of this video, thank you so much for reaching the end. A subscribe and like would be appreciated if you did enjoy it and make sure to join the Discord down below in the description. You could be member 100. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.